Recognize for uh, an amendment. Okay. Oh, I have an amendment at the desk. Clerk will uh, read the amendment. I ask unanimous consent. The clerk dispense with the reading. Without objection, the gentleman's recognized oh. for his amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This uh, amendment that I am offering simply ensures that the FTC enforce the Robinson Patman Act. Uh, it is a law that prohibits price discrimination when purchases uh, purchasers buy products in uh, the same quantities as other companies. And despite being the law of the land for many, many years, actually since 1936, over 80 years, the FTC has failed to meaningfully enforce it uh, for more than 40 years. This amendment uh, that I'm proposing does not allocate any new resources to the FTC's budget. It simply requires that the FTC spend a portion of its budget to enforce the robinson patman Act, which is already on the books. If you represent a rural district, the enforcement failure has had a profound impact, most notably on the grocery industry. Independent grocers, who were once the cornerstone of rural communities across the United States, have been abandoned to fend for themselves against the consolidation of big chains and dollar stores. And let me say, I'm not against big chains and dollar stores, but what we're seeing, this is just, uh, we want a level playing field. Today's food deserts dot the map where communities have lost their only grocery stores. Alabama grocers tell me that this problem has nothing to do with efficiency. Instead, some large chains simply use their muscle to box out competitors and claim superior terms from suppliers even when the independent grocers band together and when wholesalers <coughs> claim volume discounts. As with all supply chain issues, the problem got worse during COVID-19. And the largest real retailers cut, the front, cut to the front of the line, to the supply lines, leaving communities who relied on independent grocery stores unable to access basic necessities like toilet tissue, cleaning supplies, shelf goods, and even cleaning supplies. The problem is not confined to just groceries. Many other industries are impacted across the, uh, as well as the retail, food, pharmacies, you name it. This is an amendment for businesses all across Main Street, whether it be restaurants, package stores, community pharmacies, beer distributors, convenience stores, booksellers, and even farmers and ranchers. Um, I want to make sure that we address this in an appropriate way and um, I would uh, want to make sure that my, all of my colleagues can support this. I think this is a very common sense amendment. And because of that, I'm withdrawing it. But I would ask that we will work with the chairman to try to find some resolve to this as we move forward. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Gentlemen, 